the whole aspect is 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 getting to this is getting to this point where we have to understand how Satan talks so we can recognize what shouldn't be in the body of Christ. And that's one thing that I ran into was me and my testimony as far as like how the Father has been teaching me and leading me and guiding me is like it was difficult for me to find a congregation to sit in because like before before I had came to Christ, like I was involved in a lot of different stuff. Like that's how I was exposed to some of these individuals. Like and I would hear certain pastors start teaching and I'm like, no, this is not, this should not be here. You know, you're in here talking about the law of attraction. I just came out of the kingdom of darkness with this very same thing. That's witchcraft you're teaching. And I remember um like I had to leave a congregation because I, I had a mentor at the time I asked him what I should do. When the pastor was teaching law of attraction, like literally up there giving the word and everything and talking about a book. And he told me to meet with him and I met with him. And he was like, he tried to explain, he started trying to explain how it was biblical and it dealt with meditation and stuff like that. And it's like, when I saw he wasn't willing to kind of like hear me out, then what my mentor told me was like, if he wasn't willing to, to have that conversation, it's probably the time to go somewhere else. Because I had been in a certain aspect with the kingdom of darkness, as far as that philosophy and how that, that teaching works, when I was seeing in congregations, it, 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 it made it hard for me to, to receive any word that might have been pure because it's like I could see the spirit that was at work behind it ultimately, if that makes sense. Because the scripture says a little leaven leavens a whole lump, right? And um, the example that's coming to me now is, is something I wrote earlier um, in a blog and I was talking about how like, and I, I, we, I probably said it before, but I, I mentioned as far as how a fish that is swimming in the ocean does not want to be hooked on the hook of the fisherman. But what draws the fish to that fisherman's hook is what is what the hook is hidden in, right? So there's a, a deception, like there's something, there's something that the, the fish sees that it desires, which is truth, right? And the truth to that fish is the bait. The fish is hungry and it looks and it says, wow, that's food. Now, is that bait on the hook? Is that is that really food? Yes, it is food. And it's food that the fish will eat. The fisherman knows what the fish eats. So it puts that fish on the hook. So the fish sees the food and that's, that's what it's drawn to. The truth of, I'm hungry, I need food. That's food, that's real food, let me go eat it. But what happens is once that fish bites that food and eats it, what was hidden in the food, that hook, tears that fish up. And now the fish begins to, 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 to fight for its life. It Sometimes it can get away and break off, and then the hook might rip it up, and it might die later on, or or it just, you know, or it might get caught, um, caught and pulled out the water, filleted up and eaten, right? But the whole concept is that fish didn't want to die. But that fish thought it was something good to eat, right? And we see that's the same thing that happened with Genesis, with Eve. When she saw that it was pleasant to the eyes, something good to eat, she took and ate, right? And something to make one wise. So it's like, it's, it's that same aspect, but that fish didn't want to die. That fish didn't, that fish did not want to fight for his life. Right? And it just wanted to eat food. But Satan does the same thing. So we'll be in a congregation or something like that. And we hear all of this food. We're like, oh man, this is good. This is feeding my spirit. But what is the hook here? What, what, is, what is the deception that's hidden in this thing that I'm eating? Because as a believer, I need the word, right? I, I need something right now. I might be down and I need some encouragement. I like, what, what is the hook here? 